Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Price and Test Task Automation Tutorial. This is our lesson 32 in terms of overall Price and Test Task Automation concepts. And this is our lesson 17 in terms of Price and Test Task Advanced Level concepts. In this lesson, you will learn how can we use close programs and the method task kill while automating your test cases and while executing your task scripts. So I'm also going to talk about standard modules called start program which comes along with the Tricentis task. So we are going to use this start program standard module to perform close programs operation by using Tricentis Tosca while automating your test cases. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Now let us jump onto the system and see how can we perform close program operation by using Tricentis Tosca. So this is my Tricentis Tosca. I've created one folder called close programs. Under this folder, I have created three different test cases. Okay. First test case is to close the browser. And the second test case is to close the notepad program. And third test case is to close the task of commander itself. Okay. So now to close any program, there is a standard module as I told you. Okay. So before we talk about using the standard module close program let us first go to microsoft website and let us understand what is this task kill okay so our task kill is a method that is used to kill your programs so in this particular lesson we are going to use two different arguments the first argument is forward slash im specifies the image name of the process to be terminated. So this argument specifies the image name of the process to be terminated. And the other argument is forward slash f specifies that processes be forcefully ended. So if I give this argument that means forcefully end the program which I specified. Okay. So now let us go back to Tricentis Tosca. So here first I would like to add a test step to the close browser test case. For that right click and click on add test step. And here I'm going to call the module called start program. And this start program is coming from standard modules right and standard modules process operations under standard modules process operations okay select this start, start program and here so as you all know or if you are aware of the start program standard module purpose is to start the program but also the same module can be used to kill the program as well so to start the program what we do we generally specify the path of the program let's assume it's a notepad let us say you want to close the sorry you want to start the notepad program so you're going to specify the path of your notepad from your system right that will start the program but here we are talking about killing the program so that's why instead of specifying the path of the program i'm gonna specify task kill argument i'm gonna pass the argument called task kill okay and then in the argument i'm gonna pass my first argument image why let me tell you so i'm passing image because i'm going to kill the program based on the image 
what do you mean by that right click on go to your taskbar bottom taskbar right click and click on task manager as soon as you click on task manager it opens all the programs that are running in your system all the processes that are running your system if you see in my system google chrome microsoft teams notepad tasker commander all these programs are running so now i would like to see the image name how can we do that just right click on any one of the processes and click on go to detail and if you see it actually takes you to the details you can see this is your process id and this is your process name if you see chrome has multiple instances one program has multiple process ids right so now i need just a program name which is chrome.exe so let us go back to here i want to insert the program name as an argument chrome.exe and now i would like to pass another argument kill the program forcefully which is forward slash f so now this test step will kill the program called browser okay so now let us see how can we kill the program called notepad for that again right click click on add test step and same way i'm going to call start program from standard modules right which is from process operations and this time again in the path i'm going to specify task kill right and then here under arguments i'm going to pass forcefully kill the program and then here i would like to close the notepad plus plus notepad plus plus is open already so let's again go to right click in the task manager click on task manager and then see the process notepad is running in my system so now you need to right click on the program or process and click on go to detail and here you will find the program name what is the program name notepad plus plus dot exe so i'm going to specify the program name here notepad plus plus dot exe and now i'm going to specify another argument forwards sorry the main image right this is actually i'm killing the image notepad plus plus dot exe i'm specifying the image as well right and now let us run the test cases whatever we automated till now okay first i would like to run the test case close browser so if you see here bottom i see one two three different tabs and also i have a separate window chrome browser okay so now let us just run the test case right click and run close browser so if you just observe at the bottom it's going to close all the chrome browsers see it killed all your chrome browsers now you don't see any chrome browsers here right so it started argument and it killed everything so now let me run another test case close notepad notepad plus plus so this is your notepad so i'm going to right click and then click on run in scratch book so if you see this notepad plus plus should be closed now yes so now you can see the notepad plus plus i think it's not closed i understand the reason is see you need to specify the image here okay let us specify the image and then you need to specify the notepad plus plus dot exe okay so i specified the notepad plus plus dot exe then 
Now let us run your test case. So let me run the test case. Right click notepad plus plus dot exe. Right click and then run your command. Run your test case. So now your you can see now your notepad plus plus has been closed. Okay. So what we did is actually the arguments, right? The sequence of arguments should be you need to specify image and then your program that you would like to close. Okay, that's the sequence. Okay, so this is done. Now let us assume I would like to run these test cases. I mean, whatever the test cases I automated by using Tricent is Tosca by using batch file. Let's assume. For that, you don't need this Tosca commander. If you would like to run your Tosca scripts by using shell script or by using batch file, then you don't need Tosca commander itself. So for that, you need to close your Tosca commander also. Right? So let's just right click and add your step. And here again, call the module called start program from your standard module. Okay? And here, let me first specify again task kill and then in the argument forward slash im that is image and here let us go to our task manager right click on the taskbar click on task manager and here let us take the program name of your task commander so if you see my task commander is running so right click and click on go to details or so you can see my task commander program these many instances going on agent is running console is running so i want task commander to be killed right click on task commander click on go to detail and here what is the name of your program the name of program is task commander.exe Tosca commander dot exe. Let's scroll down here. See Tosca commander dot exe. So I'm going to specify Tosca commander dot exe. Tosca commander dot exe. Okay. And another argument is forward slash f. Forcefully close the program. So now because this task commander will be closed. I'm going to save the task whatever we did. So now when I run this particular test case, it closes your task commander itself. Okay. Let's run the test case. Okay. Right click and run. Your task commander will be closed. Done. It's closed. Your task commander closed. Let's go to your windows. Okay. So if you see, your task commander is no more visible, right? So this is how you can use close program by using tbox start program module. So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Hope you all understand the concept of close program and how can we use task kill by using Tricentis Tosca while automating your test cases or while executing your test cases. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.